All right, it's day two, and we're ready to put our second coat on. But before we put our second coat on and we get our knife all nice and dirty, on the first coat, we left a little, little poopies behind. Um, we're not gonna, you wanna get them out of the way, like right here, I got a little little piece here, which when we're taping over it, it'd be like boom, make it a, a, not good. We don't wanna sand it, just simply with your knife, you can just scrape it, just go like this, against everything. Let me uh, give you a close up and show you a piece. All right, now we got this all cleaned up and we're ready to put our joint compound on for our second coat. Now, if you were like a really good, you know, avid professional, obviously you wouldn't be watching this video, but since you're not, all you want to try to do is tackle one side of your angles here, okay? So we're going to put the mud on, just like we did on the first coat, using a, our six inch knife now, and we're just going to do one side of it. We're going to put the mud on, and we're going to make it, you know, kind of evenly. We don't want a lot of it, big globs. And we want to make sure we have complete coverage on the, the whole edge of the knife. And we're just going to go down nice and smooth. Now, on this other side here, we're going to do that tomorrow once this side dries, okay? So it's real important. Let me show you. Get the mud. Again, just like we did on the, um, the first coat. Let's put nice color, huh? Pretty cool, huh? And we want to see see how I did this. I don't have enough mud up there. Well, let's get let's get enough up there. Press a little bit harder. Now we can kind of try to clean it off. Nice smooth, like that. Okay, that looks pretty. Hey, eh. got a little right here. So you see, right here is all it looks okay. Right here, eh, not so much. So we're going to do to get that off because we don't want to just go flat over with the knife like that because then we end up leaving a nice line in there. So if you look at the knife, we're going to put pressure on the outside where it doesn't matter right here because there's nothing here. We want to put more pressure there, lifting up on the knife a little bit so it just feathers it. So kind of like right now, I've got my, my finger on that side, I'm putting pressure on it and like that. And that's it. Very simple. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do all the ins the corners here on that one side, and then tomorrow again we're going to we'll do the opposite for the second coat. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to do the flat. So we did the inside corner, the one side of it. Now we're going to do the flat. That is really, I mean, right up against it. Now this one becomes a little bit of a technique. How close do you really want to get to it? Obviously, you want to cover it. So. That's where people can really start screwing up and spend, spend so much time because you're going to get the knife marks into that mud you just put on. One way to do that, now let's put the mud on like we just did here. And I'm up, coming close to it, but maybe not touching it. And so you have this area right here that we didn't touch. Well, when you go to do tomorrow, when we go to do this side, we can just put a coat right over that. And I mean, it's not the way the pros do it, but it makes things a lot easier when you're, when you're not to fill that in. Otherwise, you're just, you know, gets a little bit hairy. But on the flats, you see, I just put the mud on. Uh, I'm a little shallow here, I can see, and that's where the, those, these colors uh, really come in handy because I'm too, a little too thin there, so I want to put uh, even more mud on. And so again, I'm gonna go there, and I'm using even pressure, going right down the center like that. Okay, so there's your second coat, fine and dandy. But remember I was just showing you about the angle? So look at all this that we left behind. We got a nice edge up on top. We're not a nice edge, it's like booby. Again, I'm gonna put the pressure down here where it doesn't matter. And I'm just, you can get a close up of that. You see I'm barely touching that right here. So when the knife ends up coming up, like say right, right about where it is now, that that edge right there is really not touching. So let's try that out here. Like that. And it's pretty good. See? I'm going to do the same, but obviously the opposite up here. You see we got some right there. Voila! 
That's much, much, much easier to do. I mean, it's like really no sanding here. Although, you know, obviously we have a third coat that's going to go on now. So, if you remember on day one, when I was showing you how to tape this, I'll show you that these are the two butt joints. And they're, we're at 100%. The framing could be a little off on it. Well, what we have here, where the tape is right now, is the high spot. So now we're going, getting ready to go on the second coat. Now, a great way of telling, now, when the wall is short like this, it might be harder for you to see, but when they're longer walls and you can look at them from the sides, like walking down the hallway, you'll definitely see it. So you don't want to do that, right? A straight edge, and this is our sheetrock uh, square here. You lay it right on top of any good straight edge. If you lay it on top, we'll get a close up and I'll show you what we're going to do. So this is the high spot. We want to fill in both sides of it on this one, where cause I have a gap on here and here. And we want to start filling those up without yet adding to, to the center of that. So let me get a close up of that. Okay, our straight edge, our high spot, and you can see the gap in here, both these spots here. And this is what we're going to fill in uh, for that entire length of this butt end. Okay, okay so here we go. We're just going to put our mud on, in this case, on the right side of that and a little bit more down here okay and we're going to go to the left side of that and we're going to build that up we don't like i said we don't want to add any to the to the center here so you can see the center and we're going to give a swipe so we want to right now we want to keep that low while we're building up the outside edges and that same technique now where we got the pressure on the one side of the knife, opposite side way here, and there we go. So you can see we have our, you can see the blue underneath of it still, which is our first coat, and our second coat, how we're building that up. Now, uh, depending upon how bad, sometimes you have to keep doing this uh, throughout the project to really build it up going way further out. Uh, but again, you know, everyone's a little bit different, so we'll see. Now, our next coat, um, if we don't have to build this up anymore, our second coat, our, our, or actually third coat on this, will be with a much wider knife. So we could start adding, covering the tape up here better, and then going out even further and further, giving it a complete uh, coverage on that. Okay, now we did all our taping for our second coat. Now we want it. Uh, tape up the uh, the nail holes one more time you see this is our, our first coat there and the second coat is really done the same way uh, up here uh, next one and we're going to go ahead and just keep doing those